Deuce! My name is Mike P, aka Phony. Welcome. Welcome back. It's been a while. It's been a long while. I appreciate those of you guys who kept on top of uh, basically me telling me to, hey, like, where's the news at? Where's the news at? What happened to the news? I used to have watched the news. Well, I'm sorry. I got tired of reporting on the same sh every, every week. Layoffs. Layoffs. Scandal. Senator Greenwald. <laughs> A live stream joke. Uh, what is news? <laughs> well, we got a pretty good one. We got a pretty good one today. We got a pretty good one today. Uh, so, uh, I started collecting up just random links, just like throwing it in my document and just, you know, like, could I, could I do a news show? It's been a while. And things just kind of started to fall together. You know, I mean, there's like some real, real, like hard hitting news pieces that I feel like I can't miss reporting on such as Ikea hiring workers for its online Roblox store for real money. How I have to come back for this. I can't I can't stay away from the news when shit like this is dropping on the regular now. What the hell? <laughs> True story. Thirteen dollars and fifteen pounds, whatever, real money for people to play NPCs. Not like the TikTok NPC thing. This is like an actual job. You got to interview for it. They're probably gonna interview. You're probably gonna go through like four hundred different tiers of interviews with twenty five different people in each tier, and it's probably half is gonna be in Roblox, and the other half is gonna be on the phone, and then the other half is gonna be in person or some shit like that. I don't know what the process is, but it's it's but it's. It's a real job that you can actually work. It's not a long-term thing. It's not a long-term thing. It's something they're introducing. It's kind of just kind of uh, maybe for some marketing appeal. They got more of their money's worth out of this, <laughs> out of the articles, <laughs> and then and they probably are going to get for actually selling anything. But the idea is that the employees, the NPC employees that are working there are going to be able to serve virtual meatballs and like help people buy things on their virtual store which in roblox things are kind of siloed you know like maybe you could buy a virtual couch or something you know i mean they're, they they have plenty of, i have i keep furniture right here all over the place you know so maybe virtually on that same server or the same room instance you can have something but what more, more than likely happen is they're going to use this as a way to kind of get people to their website you know to buy stuff online uh and they're trying to aim at you know tech kids basically kids that are playing roblox all the time who are you know maybe i mean we've been making roblox jokes being 13 year olds playing games for like 10 years now so guess what those kids are all like 20 something years old you know looking to well nobody's moved out of their mom's house uh they're all looking to zhuzh up the the bedroom the basement the attic the spare room the whatever <laughs> <laughs> Kids gonna be having shit shipped to their house from IKEA on their mom's CC. Yeah. <laughs> Time to get a second job serving meatballs. Yeah, you could do it. Uh, it says so IKEA offers training to ensure employees can navigate and manage the virtual store effectively. So it's gonna be like real items, I guess. Um, and it says that it's part, it says that the initiative blends gaming with real world experience. It says the part of, this is part of Ikea's strategy to engage with a younger audience with popular platforms like Roblox. Probably going to see like a Fortnite instance or something like that. Red versus green versus yellow versus blue versus purple versus Ikea or something. I don't know. They're going to have something in there for that. But I said it before, I ain't going back to retail, man. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter where it is. But this is, you could get like the most unique retail job experience you know like you could you you're working in a virtual store catering to characters you don't know if it's a kid you don't know if it's your kid's mom or your mom's mom or something you know like i mean like my mom has played roblox all right maybe she's gonna go ikea shopping on roblox perhaps Explain that on your on your CV. <laughs> the universe IKEA is now starting. Where is a Sims like game I can place my furniture at ten dollars a month? Plot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Why not? I mean, other instances in Roblox has this, has basically that same concept where you can go and put 
uh, uh, get unlock furniture and go and do like random things around the world and then like come back and, and spice up your home a little bit with whatever stuff you've collected or unlocked. You know, it's already a thing elsewhere. Ikea could have Ikea land or Ikea verse or whatever uh, where they could have, you know, people could buy virtual furniture using Robux and then maybe Ikea could turn a profit from that somehow. <sighs> what the fuck? So, now, Walmart's already done this. Walmart's already done this. Walmart's done something similar. I don't think it's quite... They, def, they definitely didn't have, like, actual employees working there. They just had, like, a Walmart, like, virtual center that you walk into and you could walk around and all that stuff. Uh, and we covered that. That was some years back, I think. But, you know, I mean, it's, it's been a while since we've had a big, big, big corporation decide to jump on, uh, jump on and take advantage of the kids. <laughs> see sorry to say your roblox card has been declined yeah yeah yeah, yeah. you're getting more coins for that new no robux see um see the current roblox is like second life around 2010 where real companies buy virtual land there that's kind of where i feel like some of this stuff is going for sure yeah i mean like walmart was just kind of dipping their toes into it like really just dipping their toes into it ikea is like actually trying to get some kind of turnover or some kind of follow through with their customers that they're uh, that they're getting from this service i don't know <laughs> somebody i mean in like in like 20 years someone's gonna be like oh yeah my first experience with ikea was actually in roblox and then it's gonna be like wow look at that the marketing worked <laughs> mm. I want to say target did have one i want to say target did have a store but i don't but again I don't remember there being employees working there for for any amount of money, period. So <laughs> it was first fill out a form answer questions like, what would you do if you ran out of pixelated hot dogs in our bistro? And if you were a pixelated IKEA furniture, which one would you be and why? Yeah. Mm. You want your instant TikTok handle. Oh, so they want to get people that are influencers. I see. I see. I see. I see. Well. Well, I mean, I remember I bought furniture for Roblox and I have my own place. I should go to Ikea to buy real furniture. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, moving on. Moving on. So there's been a lot of articles lately on uh, leaks. Like just just like, I mean, first of all, we have Summer Game Fest coming up on Friday, this Friday. Um, and so we've had already, we've had some leaks apparently for Summer Game Fest. Um, you know, whatever it is, it doesn't really matter. It's just like leaks, are every time there's a big thing coming up, leaks is gonna be an article, it's gonna be, it's gonna get some clicks. Uh, so with this coming up, this was released yesterday, this article, June 3rd. Um, there was a 404 Media uh, uh, article that was released where it talked about Google uh, employees leaking uh, um, basically private private videos, uh, unlisted videos from like companies and from your know, game companies, whatever. Uh, and that's what kind of got more, more traction. Okay, on top of this is like leak season right now. Um, this article was covered numerous times by other platforms. Uh, this is a paid site, so the numerous other platforms already kind of got in there and and uh, and kind of broke it down for us a little bit. But one thing I want to point out, though, is that it says right here, it says Inter uh, an internal Google database obtained by 404 Media shows Google recording children's voices, saving license plates from Street View and many other self-reported incidents, large and small. Uh, so I'm guessing that the, the specific uh, Google recording children's voices is probably the YouTube Kids app. I'm guessing because you because like I know Declan used to just hit the button to say blah, 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 like whatever and then <laughs> and maybe maybe YouTube's like we got to keep that so we can like analyze it maybe we can come up with some kind of like baby translator or something like that <laughs> some other failed thing they're gonna do later on but the key thing here that I thought was interesting was that it says that they accidentally collected children's voice data so it reminds me of that like Kappa. Thing, like the Children's Online Protection something, some Privacy and Protection Act uh, that happened in uh, uh, in Silicon Valley, like pretty early, I want to say, maybe first season, second season or something. Um, I meant that they're meant to eat it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're supposed to, you're supposed to not keep that stuff. You're not supposed to collect any information from anybody under the age of 13. Uh, and it probably includes voice data. Uh, and they did the math on it. And it was something like $13,000 $13, 
per infraction per chat message times 45,000 users blah 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 and it was like some stupid ass number that there's that they were just still recovering from but that was that was fiction this is google google's already there are, they, they can get away with it they're, they're too big too big to fail uh yeah we accidentally start your data on your kids as you do you know accidentally yeah exactly um they, they <laughs> the uh, uh, uh the things that were leaked i mean some of you guys probably remember there was like nintendo leaks uh, that uh, that come out there was like a yoshi game that was leaked prior to it actually being leaked uh and it was like a, a screenshot they might have it in this article actually no they don't uh but it was like a picture of a computer screen and you could see i remember this article actually it was like yoshi something game um but uh it, you could see that it had admin.youtube.com um in the uh, in the url so i kind of like alluded to oh yeah it's internal or whatever so google has uh they, they claim of course the activity was not intentional right um i mean the the article goes on and on to detail other things the access to massive leaks leaks around playstation nintendo spark concerns about google employees access to not yet published videos uh you know part of the problem is like these companies are not able to really coordinate and time game releases in a way that or announcements uh on youtube that coincides with youtube's completely random you know your video is being processed to hd you know like so unless we want to start seeing 360p videos that have not been processed yet uh, for like launch videos which no marketing department wants to do right um they don't have any choice but to upload it like a day before right and so they upload it a day before to make sure it's processed and ready to go. And sometime in that in that 24 hours or whatever, some number of contractors, I mean, they even said, you know, it was said that they had internal records confirmed uh, that a contractor accessed and shared the video. Um, so it's like, yeah, it's, <laughs> they haven't necessarily haven't said anywhere what they're doing to like combat this, just to, you know, just to maybe assure publishers and everybody that ever uploads anything to youtube which is everybody um that just won't happen again <laughs> it's also content kind of creators that went pre-upload or pre-uploading videos that were still under embargo as well as i think yeah which means they could they could catch shit for possible breaking embargo yeah breaking embargo that's that's a different thing though right Breaking an embargo on something that you know you're aware of, like, I mean, like, for example, today, Autopsy Simulator from Team 17 was released, uh, and that embargo dropped about uh, 90 minutes ago. So, you know, if I went if I went live and I streamed at 8 o'clock this morning playing Autopsy Simulator, then that would be a violation of the embargo. This is different, right? This is an actual Google contractor or employee like having access to a completely unannounced title or in the case of like a publisher who is going to like steam next fe or sorry uh, uh summer game fest or any other big festival where they announce a lot of games uh having a huge playlist of games that they're going to be slowly releasing trailers for uh throughout the uh throughout the actual event and so you know you pre-upload those and you get them ready to go and then someone goes through and just starts jotting down all the names and everything and just releases it to all the friends on the 4chans or wherever right there is no accountability anymore it used to be you could keep these firms in check by financial penalties uh but they have all the money now it probably doesn't help too that like everybody's a contractor you know like it's not like these are you know uh, uh, uh vetted employees that have you know um some kind of uh, 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 incentive to not do these things, right? Like it, people are saying, oh, well, why would these employees do that? Now they're never going to get another job in tech or whatever. It's like, these are contractors, man. Like who knows where they're at? Who knows what they're doing? They probably have like 14 other contractor jobs. And they have chat GPT running for them, you know, and they just use this one, just make a few extra side bucks. They even said like, and one of the instances, like they, they traded information for some like releases, uh, I think for like maybe for PlayStation, perhaps I'm not sure. Uh, for like three digits, like a three digit like price. And I was like, really? So somebody like sold pre-release secrets, like a scoop for like an insider gaming or something like that type uh, uh, site for like $300 or something. <laughs> like, the contractor job must pay shit. <laughs> 
<laughs> their their journalism job gets replaced by AI in the next six months anyways. Yeah, in fairness, in NDA embargoes, it makes sense to get videos uploaded in private or scheduled release the next day. That way the content is sharing with a market drop is 140p. Exactly, exactly what I'm saying. They have to. They're kind of stuck, you know? They have to upload and get everything prepped beforehand, get all the marketing and all that stuff, get the links, get the links everywhere, get the embed set up on the pages they're gonna launch and whatever, whatever, whatever. So here's the thing though. All of these instances took place between, like for both of these articles, right? For all these articles, right? Took place between 2013 and 2017. A long time ago, right? They're coming out today because the database that I guess has a log of all these instances that have happened and has been confirmed by Google um, was released or was basically leaked uh, recently confirming that this has happened. So who knows if there's like an update. Maybe that was just a 2013, 2017, you know, Excel sheet or sorry, Google sheet. Uh, and there's another one you know, that has all, all, all the new ones since then. Or maybe they found some other way to like track these things, which is probably more likely the case. Some other way to internalize those things and keep them maybe not all like in a in a simple database that's queryable or searchable or whatever. Just keep it separated and keep it you know <laughs> vague as possible. So these are not necessarily new things that are happening. Although, like I said at the beginning, there is leaks for. Summer Game Fest 2024, which is happening on Friday. And there's always leaks like this. There's always leaks. There's like, there's people on, there's people you could trust with their leak information on, on Twitter that are constantly sharing things. And, you know, whether or not some of them are end up being true or not, I guess we'll find out on Friday. Uh, uh, so, you know, there's a Lego game. There's another Lego version of a popular game that's coming out. What the hell? Like... <laughs> Is is Lego just like the weird Al Yankovic of like games? <laughs> it's just like you have a popular game, right? And it runs its course, it makes a lot of money, and then the Lego version. Like, is that is that a sign that you've made it? Like Lego Assassin's Creed, Lego Pirates, Lego freaking whatever. And that's like the next step to like keep it fresh, you know? The Lego ha! They're gonna turn out buggy games. Jeez. What else do you want in the Mega Block? <laughs> yeah, where's the Mega Blocks at? <laughs> we had Lego Minecraft. Uh, when do we get a Lego Minecraft game? That is exactly the same as Minecraft. Yeah, I know. It's true. We do have Lego Minecraft, actually. I think we all, we have some downstairs. Uh, there was a how many food references are in the game. Lego Godzilla, Lego Jurassic Park, Lego everything. Jeez, man. <laughs> Where's the original Lego games? <laughs> I mean, it play, it play, it plays up to like it makes sense. It's Legos. So you always make Lego. I mean, I had Lego Airwolf. You know, it wasn't a real thing. I just made my own little cool helicopter and ice wall. Man, love that, love that. Fuck. I had like so many different versions of that stupid helicopter I used to make out of Legos. And I and I, I was all, I didn't have a bunch of black Legos either. We didn't have those things as a kid. I had like this, like every color, you know? If I had the gayest looking airwolf you've ever seen. It was awesome. <laughs> it was just everything. Oh, there's a Lego Godzilla, see? See? <laughs> Lego racer, Lego everything. Rainbow arrow for pride. That's right. <laughs> That's a name I heard in a long time. I know, I know. When I think of Lego, though, I think of that because that was something that I obsessed over. I loved the show. I loved, I loved Lego, and so it makes when I see like Lego doing, you know, Lego Indiana Jones, Lego Star Wars, Lego Godzilla, Lego whatever. Uh, like I'm not surprised because Lego is just like they're like, wait a minute, like let's just do what the kids do. You know, we'll just make their favorite things in lego but we'll do it in like a game or a movie format um and they've been pretty successful with that <laughs> so it makes sense air was awesome awesome theme song too i know it's a fan okay, of godzilla you can start news okay <laughs> your lights your lights <laughs> you know what you're not you know what you're not late for though you're not late for this next bit which is about which is about subs which subs are, are moving up in price 
Twitch is updating sub and gift sub prices in over 30 countries. This goes into place on July 11th. So depending on where you are, uh, it's gonna go up by some amounts, right? Uh, and this is like the sub price that you pay. Like this is not like a conversion update because of pricing in a country or whatever, you know? Like this is like, this is actually just going up as a baseline. There'll be probably different like conversions updates for like various like, you know, uh, 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 rates and all that. So Mike is getting rich next month. Yeah. <laughs> so you can see, here's the list here. Pretty much everything is going up by 1.0. I mean, something are going up and more than that, especially if you live somewhere where like in Chile, for example, where you have 2,400 or something and it's 3,000. But for the most part, Denmark, God damn, man, it's eight. You guys going up eight. So pretty much everything, it seems to be going up by a nice round number, one. <laughs> Except for L Lichtenstein's going up by 50.5. What the heck? When will Twitch Prime subs be done for? So somebody said, I, I didn't look into this. I didn't look into this. And this is the USA right there. So yeah, here in the US, which a lot of you guys who are not in the US are paying the US rate somehow. I don't know how we hackers and stuff. Um, but uh, uh, that's also going up to uh, $5.99. Um, so, so, so in terms of Twitch prime subs, I heard that. So first of all, we're getting more, we're getting like, I, I, I think, uh, Bussy, like he like speculated on what the pricing would be, what you would get extra. Um, but it's something like 10 to, uh, or 20 to maybe 30 cents or something like that. So it's, it's, it's not a lot, uh, like it's not, I mean, it's an extra 30 cents per person, but I mean, it's per person. So, you know, the more you have, then, you know, whatever, it's like gas prices, you know, it's like I could drive 10 miles to get gas that costs me 10 cents less, but is that really going to make that much of a difference <laughs> in the long run? I can just go over here and just pay the extra 10 cents and be fine. But yeah, so it's, it's, it, it is going to be a little bit more. Ooh, going to be rich. That's going to be like what changes July 11th. So we're going to see those changes. Then I guess we're going to see the first payout of that, uh, the middle of August or something, you know, like it's not gonna, it's going to change July 11th, but you know, not everybody sub renews between July 11th, to July 15th, we get paid on the middle of the month. So, so we'll see like, you know, what happens with that number go up, mean number go up. Yeah, 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 exactly. A couple of days before your monthly payday. See, God, man, we're just, just nickel and diamond you guys. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, depends on how often people will renew. Mm, my sub day is around the fifteenth. Yeah, a lot of people, especially if you're uh, one of the one of the first folks that uh, jumped in here the twenty years ago. Um, then yeah, you're you're gonna be you're, you're prime on the fourteenth to fifteenth to eighteenth somewhere around there. Uh, your tier two and tier three prices are not changing, so that's that's good news. So if you already pay a lot to like hook up a streamer, uh, you're not gonna be paying more. Uh, there's a, they're nice round numbers too, so uh, it'd be nice if they just kind of keep it that way. Well, nice round numbers for us. I don't know how they are in other. I mean, if Chile is three thousand for this, then it's gonna be fifteen thousand or something. So I don't know. But uh, that is switched to tier two, so I don't get scammed. <laughs> yeah. Just <laughs> spend tier two. They're not spending more. <laughs> That's a good idea, guys. That's a wow. I I didn't I didn't think about this. I didn't think about. This. That's, that's very true. Uh, 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 provided to us by Anner Bada. <laughs> we have uh, the email here. This is the email that you guys got. Uh, I also got an email. It's very similar. Um, uh, it's very similar, but basically, this is them letting you guys know July 11th, updating tier one to $5.99. So, mm. at 99 is a round number. We are so coded. I know we don't even see that anymore. That one cent. They should just say this is a flat rate. Just make it just make it twenty-five dollars or make it ten dollars or five dollars, whatever. But that'll never happen. Marketing. They like that ninety-nine dollar ninety-nine. Doesn't make any sense for nothing, nothing is like cheap anymore. So it's just, it's just ditch that. <laughs> ah, <clears throat> so other things you can spend your money on if you don't want to, you know, support subs and stuff like that. You can save up your money and buy yourself a new Game Boy because they got a new one came in coming out. Brand new. This one is called the uh, uh, the mod retro magnesium. No, was it the uh, 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 the? Oh, it's just right here on the top here. Chromatic, the chromatic. So right there on the same thing. Uh, we already had one of these before. This one is developed by Palmer Lucky, who is the founder of Oculus. So a familiar face or, or name for some of you guys. Uh, and it is it is a, a, a pet project. 
that's it. It's a pet project that he's just like, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to my roots and just keep on fiddling with old Game Boys. And <laughs> he made one. <laughs> and it looks pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie. I like how he's going with I like the uh uh the, the color scheme and the fonts and all the stuff that he's using here. Uh but yeah, I mean it's it is a full fully functional Game Boy. I'm gonna zoom in here. Uh, it works with Game Boy, Game Boy Color cartridges. It's got a pixel perfect IPS display, bright, beautiful. It has USB C charging, optional lithium ion battery, or it can run off of uh, double A's. So you can have rechargeable batteries if you want, or whatever, just like the old days. It has a, a functioning link adapter, so you could multiplayer if you have somebody else. Uh, <laughs> is that Michael the Mullish? Get out of here. I'm getting there, though. I'm getting there. I'll get there. Um, it comes in a ton of colors. I mean, that's, that's, that's the most important part. <laughs> Will it be better than my PC? It's more portable than your PC. Um, Mike, missing the connection. I saw, oh, man, I probably missed whatever that was. Let me see. Let me pop it up real quick. Is that is that something I need? You see, Twitch that plus uh, upgrade nudge, which occurs views top tier. Uh, oh, 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 yes, you should. I missed that. Uh, the blue one, not original purple. The blue one. I like this one a lot. And what I really like, too, is that you could choose the Japanese markings. Uh, just for a little bit more authenticity, right? Really kind of, really kind of sticking with that that, that theme. Um, it's one hundred and ninety nine dollars. So I mean, it's and it's something that's gonna be hitting uh, around the holidays, twenty twenty four. You can pick it up online or at GameStop. One of you guys, diamond hands out there, you could probably afford one. Um, and you can also purchase a special edition. Uh, it says it, it's depending on where you read. It says it's like comes with, but everything I'm seeing is does not come with uh, headphones. But it does have like a regular like you know eighth inch you know headphone output like you, know, like you guys remember those headphone jack they used to call them, uh, and so they do have those. And you can buy these authentic '90s aesthetic cost headphones. And they're gonna come in also a variety of colors as well. Kind of cool looking actually kind of cool looking yeah I, I was a little disappointed because you know i saw this uh and i actually thought i, I went to their site because i said someone said cost and i was like okay let me go see what what cost headphones have and i was I, cause I didn't say exactly what it was uh let me see headphones and i was a little disappointed that it wasn't these let me see these guys now this this would have been authentic <laughs> this this is legit authentic right here so yeah, you could buy it when you go through the purchase process. Uh, when you go through the purchase process on here, I already have one in my cart. Uh, it gives you the option to add the Porta Pro, so you could buy them right here as well, and they also sell them separately. So for two hundred fifty bucks, you can you know pick yourself up a authentic Game Boy experience with some headphones that are probably just kind of okay. <laughs> you remember those? Yeah. Break them in one minute. I know. I know. Exactly. Always just snap right off. Although these ones look like they're better designed, though. Solid metal. No plastic anywhere. Huh. Yeah, I always broke mine right here because it had plastic right at the uh, uh, right where the headband kind of goes across the top. It was metal there, but it was plastic. And it, the plastic was the sheathing part. Um, and that part always broke. Always, always broke. So... But yeah, yeah, you can get magic if you want. You can get separate. You get whatever. There's a Dragon M. They have a game, but they're also releasing with it too, or that you know you can purchase. Um, and you know this is this is it's, this is not like totally unusual or like totally new. There have been plenty of people out there who have been making games, Game Boy games, typically like emulator stuff. But I mean, I've seen a few actual physical releases over the past several decades for Game Boy from people who are just like you know making games for fun. Uh, they have six games. Thank you. What are you going to use it for these days? Everything is Bluetooth. I mean, you use it to enjoy this, like, authenticity, right? It's a produced authenticity, which is a, which is a, which is a theme that I'm seeing kind of, uh, uh, uh growing, you know, lately. It's like, it, 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 it's not the grunge and the and, and the worn look of the '90s, it's more of a of a of a uh, produced aesthetic. I mean, just like just like the lens I was showing you guys before the stream, right before the show. You know what is it? It's it's a fun saver disposable camera lens on an adapter that I'm gonna stick on my twenty five hundred dollar camera body, and I'm gonna take some pictures with it because it's it's got an authentic look to it. 
you know but it's a produce authenticity so but people love this stuff it's just everywhere now so you don't get fucking frustrated with being able to see the screen when you want to play the game what is this for oh the, the bright it's, it's bright 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 screen nostalgia sells yeah nostalgia sells so they're gonna manufacture the hell out of it see man my boy soldier boy he was just a little too early on this game man he could have you could have gotten in there on this deal or whatever. There's already an existing one. There's already an existing um, a Game Boy if you want to go for or like a Game Boy, you know, revival. It's called the Analog Pocket. We talked about this. Oh, God. Uh, December 13, 2021. Yeah, we talked about this a while ago. I think on news, actually. And it, uh, I mean, it's sleek. It looks nice. And, you know, it plays games. Uh, so, you know, it's, again, it people will pay for nostalgia. Uh, this one is 229 though, so it's a little bit different. And also, it doesn't come in a bunch of pretty colors. Come on, come on. Let's go. Steam Deck with emulators downloaded. I know, but dude, have you tried to go to sleep with a Steam Deck? Like you're laying on your back and you got this fucking brick in your hands, and you're just sitting there, just like, and your and your hands are falling asleep, and all of it. And the next thing you know, it just. Poof. <laughs> <laughs> I need I need that Wally -E like arm that comes over the top of my bed down like, mount that I can just have it hanging there I guess yeah that's it and then I need something to hold my arms up too so I went out to hold those up like some kind of weird stirrups or something like that I could just go to sleep like that <laughs> the Game Boy fit my purse and the Steam Deck will not oh my god the Steam Deck will fit in anything but I love it though, man. I use it every freaking day. I cannot believe how much I use that thing constantly, constantly. I mean, the fact that it plays PC games is like killer, right? And then it uploads to the cloud. So now it's like whenever I play on my on, on my Steam Deck, now I can just log in on the on the cloud or sorry on Steam on PC, and it works perfectly fine. So pretty, pretty, pretty red. The third time I imprinted my face in my screen. <laughs> Oh, is that is that a uh, okay? Okay, hold on. I'll open that a separate window for that one. I'll decide. I'm gonna take a peek real quick and see. That's the yeah. That's the Wally arm I'm talking about. Yep. Oh, twenty two dollars, huh? Mm. Oh, and those springs, the springs that it has on it, the one that that she put. I'm not gonna put it on the screen because it's Amazon, but uh, uh, the link there it has uh, has springs on the arm. So if anybody, if any of you guys have ever had springs on your mic arm, for example, you know what they sound like, right? So if you're trying to go to sleep. And you know you're adjusting your game, and your partner's next to you having a nice little snooze, and you're like <laughs> metal on metal scraping. Yeah, 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 yeah. So maybe twenty dollars though. So if you're just by yourself, then whatever, no one cares. <laughs> Terrible, exactly, exactly. Like a dragon. Moving on. So, uh, 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 uh Amazon. It's picking up another show based off video game and it's going to be released October 24th like a dragon Yakuza you guys have seen the you guys have seen the games you guys have seen the the, the memes you know like it's Friday come on do you know what I mean so they're making a live action I you know what like I I, don't, I have not put a ton of time into the game that I, I don't know which one like a dragon I think I can't remember which which I can't remember which actual installment in the like a dragon series that i've or whatever that i've played um but i really like the characters uh and i really liked like the story that i was getting it's just i didn't feel like playing the actual game was the only problem this is a perfect alternative for people like me <laughs> first you've heard yeah this is this is brand new 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 so uh the director i did some digging uh, i did some digging so the um this is Crunchyroll reporting on it. It's a new series, so a story of Kazumi Kiryu's uh, life in Kamurocho. Uh The director is Masaharu uh, Take, and I was curious, like, who's that? Like, what has he done? Uh, obviously, he's done a lot of Japanese films and short series or and, and uh, series and whatnot. Mo I'm mostly looking at like what uh, a genre of 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 media has he like directed, and he's done a lot of drama, uh, comedy, and a little bit of action. So, and I was like, wow, that sounds like that would work for this. <laughs> yes it will be subbed and dubbed in 30 different languages they're gonna be six episodes and they're gonna be releasing in threes so october 24th you're gonna get your first episode or first batch of episodes three and then a week later they're gonna drop the other three 
And the way that the story is set up, it takes place in two different eras. So, sorry, era. Uh, I mean, it takes two different eras. Uh, so, it will... Uh, uh, so, what's probably going to happen is we're going to get the first, you know, the 1980s or 90s, whatever, and then fast forward, and that'll be the last batch of, uh, uh, of episodes that they release. So... Yeah, <laughs> two is two. And one, just one year is all we need. Jeez. <laughs> so that's October twenty fourth. I'm looking forward to it, man. <laughs> Fallout is super good. Um, obviously, not at all related in any way whatsoever, outside of the fact that it's going to be on Amazon. Uh, but it just kind of rekindled my my hope for like video game related like series and stuff. So I'm kind of excited for it. But like I said, something dubbed in 30 different languages, which is probably all of them. And <laughs> and yeah, so yeah, it's it's something to look forward to. A week before Halloween too. When is WoW movie? Well, Dwayne, there was already a WoW movie. Um I uh, I mean, like I don't know, it's uh didn't do too hot. <laughs> it didn't do too hot. I don't know if they're going I don't know if they're going to take another risk on another one. Unless they do some kind of like side thing that doesn't require a lot of CG, but <laughs> when is better while wow movie? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if that'll ha happen anytime soon. They'll probably give it another ten years. I think. I think another ten years. They gotta. They gotta. I feel like they gotta wait. There's so many cool stories and stuff like that. I feel like it's it's it's, it's you can't pass up on it. What is this? Wild wow movie two electric boogaloo? Is this Warcraft? Yeah, yeah. That's a 2016. That's a 2016 uh, movie. They'll do Warhammer instead. Ooh, hey man, Warhammer, it's, it's Warhammer's time. It's, I don't care, it Warhammer 40k, whatever, I don't care. But I feel like it's time, man, it's time. Every every single time something Warhammer or 40k like related comes up, I hear some bizarre ass story that make me think, what the fuck? Like, this is hilarious, you know? How do orcs ship fly? Because they just, they believe that it will. Put the, okay. <laughs> and this is just accepted in the lore. They just believe. <laughs> How do you defend yourself against the army of orcs? Just go out there like this. Da, 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 and they'll just believe. Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it just sounds like it would be hilarious that Henry Cavill is working on something warhammer related yes so we don't know what it is or anything but he's working on something so so we, we cross our fingers and hope mm. Mm. it's the same magic used for santa exactly the same stuff tooth fairy all that shit easter easter bunny all the same magic all comes from the same bucket ah speaking of magic speaking of magic this is a terrible terrible transition but there's a new bad boys movie coming out and they just released some uh reviews for it um it's at debuting at 69 percent on the tomato meter bad boys ride or die this is the fourth one not to be confused with bad boys for life which was the third one that actually I, I people ended up liking it i super enjoyed bad boys one and two i thought those are some of the best like buddy cop films it was the introduction of michael bay and his bayhem style of like videography cinematography uh and so like i didn't watch the third one which was not michael bay if i recall uh and this one also is not but the third one actually was pretty good that's the fourth for life right uh and so this one's starting coming out pretty good the reviews are saying that it's pretty solid so if you're looking for a movie to watch June 7th, that's the day after tomorrow, this weekend. It's a movie you could probably jump out and go see, but Rotten Tomatoes has it at night. 69% or 68%? I think it moved a little bit. 69%, baby! It was 68% before the uh, before the show. So, yeah, I'm glad glad to see. Glad to see the Michael Lowry. Michael Lowry. Glad to see these guys uh, uh, still got the still got the magic. Still got the magic. So, Will Smith armed only with his slaps! <laughs> <laughs> knowing knowing Will Smith and knowing that they probably won't even make like a, a, a joke comment about that. They probably won't even bring it up. I th I feel like Will Smith has a little a little bit too much pride to let something like that like kind of float. You know, it was it was not to mention it was something he probably wants to forget ever happened, of course. So joking about it. He's not a stand up comedian, so it's probably not his style. 
So yeah, it won't be mentioned exactly. Yeah, probably not at all. <laughs> you feel like Will Smith needs this? I mean, the reviews I saw say that you know that it, it it it's it looks like it's Will Smith is having fun, you know. And if there's any like celebrity relationship that I feel like a lot of us are kind of somehow in tune with, it's definitely Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith's relationship. Uh, and so we just want to see Will happy, man. <laughs> <laughs> we just want to see Will happy. That's all, you know. Sure, he slapped Chris, but I mean, how many people want to slap Chris Rock before? Come on, it's not the first one, you know. <laughs> all right, that's it for the news. Thank you, everybody. Ooh, thank you, everybody, for joining me today, my lovely chat. It's been a while, so been a thank you guys for a news episode. Oh, you just got here. What? What the heck? What the heck? Recap. Oh, man. I forgot already, actually. Jesus. Bye, everyone. Say goodbye to YouTube. Say everybody goodbye to YouTube. Thank you so much. Maybe we'll do another one of these. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see.